And um, when we looked over, the suitcase was right next to the edge of a bent where we were taking the measurement. <clears throat> had, we, had it been in the middle of a, a bent or in the middle of a span, we may have not even noticed it. Um, but because of its location, it was right next to where we dropped our, our profile tape is what we call it to take the measurement. We immediately saw it as soon as we dropped it down. And so I'm not a Navy guy. Uh, when you say deck, are you talking about the road area of the bridge where the vehicles go? Yes, sir. That's what we call the deck. Um, we take our me measurements um, at the top of the barrier wall. Anybody that's driven over a bridge, the concrete walls on the outside is where we take our measurements from. And so are you and Mr. Goins looking over the edge of the bridge and you see a suitcase directly down below? Yes, sir. Uh, what side of the bridge are you on, the eastbound lanes or the westbound lanes? <clears throat> we're on the eastbound lane <clears throat> and we were on the east or the right side of the structure. <clears throat> and so you note that there's a suitcase there, but then you go on with the inspection. Yes, sir. And tell us about that. Uh, do you go all the way across the bridge and then work your way back or how does that work? Well, generally when we're, we're taking a profile, it's, uh, we'll start at what we call the near end, which for our reference is we, we work from west to east or south to north. In this case, we were working west to east. We started on the right side of the bridge heading east. When we finish that profile, then yes, we do turn back around and we work from east to west back to where we started. And that's when we get into the truck and start our under bridge inspection. And when you start your under bridge inspection, is that when you get back to the area where the suitcase is? It wasn't for, um, no, sir. It wasn't for probably roughly uh, an hour, hour and a half later, um, maybe even a little bit longer because when we started the under inspection, we start back at the beginning of the bridge. Okay. And where we found the suitcase was almost at the very end of the bridge. And this bridge goes east and west, is that right? Yes, sir. So you're starting the under carriage portion on the east side, working your way west, is that right? Uh, no, sir. We're starting <laughs> on the, <laughs> the west end, working towards the east. Okay. And so um, what happens when you get back to that area where the suitcase is? Um, because of the profile and the, uh, as the bridge, it, there's the hump in the bridge. Um, when we got towards the end of the structure, the bridge starts to become lower, closer to the ground. Um, and at that point, we didn't need the truck anymore. So we were able to lower the basket down to the ground line <clears throat> and get out and was going to finish our inspection from there. Um, and that's when, when we lowered down to the ground, we've um, remembered that we had seen the suitcase. Uh, we finished up our inspection and then went back to the suitcase. And why did you go back to the suitcase? Pure curiosity. Okay. And again, is Mr. Goins with you at this point in time as well? Yes, sir. So what happens when you get back to the suitcase? <clears throat> We got back to the suitcase and where it was lying, it was lying at kind of a, uh, an odd angle, but the handle was towards the underside of the bridge. Um, so I, uh, I reached out for the handle and immediately noticed it was very, very heavy. <clears throat> um, and I looked back and remember telling Matt, I said, I, I don't know what's in this. I said, but it's heavy. I said, and where it was at, it had a possibility of being waterlogged. Um, we didn't know whether it was clothing or something in it. We just noticed that whatever it was was probably waterlogged and saturated um, just due to the how heavy it was. And I imagine you get a lot of rain in Florida? Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, do you get a lot of rain in the months of February and March? We can. Uh, March normally is, is fairly rainy season, but again, where the suitcase was, it was really right at the edge of the marsh and depending on tide, um, you don't have necessarily have to have a lot of a lot of rain for that area to get um, be influenced by tide. Okay. So uh, you, Mr. Goins, get up to the suitcase. You said it appeared to be heavy. What happened after that? Um, because of where it was at, it was very very marshy and and muddy. Um, <clears throat> we of course didn't know what was in it, but underneath the bridge where it was at was very flat and sandy. Um, and I, you know, we kind of like made decision, let's, let's pull it out of the mud and pull it underneath the bridge where it was flat and sandy and whatever it was in it, you know, we'll just open it there rather than 
um, in the muddy marsh, just sticks and a lot of sticks and stuff there. So we pulled it underneath the bridge. And what did you open it? <clears throat> yes, sir. Uh, tell us about that. <clears throat> I was the first one to unzip it, <clears throat> and before we opened it, as soon as we unzipped it, we immediately noticed the smell. That's what hit us first. <clears throat> I remember looking up at Matt, who's quite a bit taller than me, um, and I said, Matt, I think there's there's something dead in here. And unfortunately, we do come across, sometimes somebody will throw out a litter of puppies or something in a bag, and you know, it's, that's not uncommon. And it just, it smelled, but it was so strong, it, it was just, it was different that day. So I didn't initially open it, and we kind of thought about what we were going to do first. <clears throat> when we finally went ahead and unzipped the rest of it, the, the the smell was so overpowering. We you know we kind of stepped took a step back, and the first thing I remember seeing was just two little feet, and that had little football socks on them. The best I remember, that's I remember to be in little socks on them. And before I could, before anything else happened, we couldn't really make out what it was. Um, Matt dumped the suitcase over. And of course, we initially uh, immediately knew it was a body. Um, but after looking at it, it was, um, we, we couldn't tell male or female, um, boy or girl, we just, we didn't know. Um, a lot of black hair. I just, and then, I turned away. Uh, what was the size of this suitcase? Do you remember? Roughly the size of a, a checked bag. Uh, it, it was too, it wouldn't have been a, you know, it was too big to be a carry on, um, but roughly the size of an older um, checked bag suitcase. And was there anything else in the suitcase besides the body? Um, lots of blankets. Um, <clears throat> there, I, there may have been a pillow or something. I just remember a lot of bedding. Um, bedding in there and blankets. It was kind of the the body was in a fetal position and partially wrapped up, so we couldn't we couldn't tell a whole lot until we dumped it out. And again, I I turned my head. What did you do after that? Walked away. <laughs> um, I I immediately said we we went ahead and called the inspection right there. Um, I didn't have my cell phone with me. Matt did at the time. Um, He's a volunteer firefighter, and he's he's dealt with some of this stuff. And I was very thankful to have him there. Uh, we immediately dialed nine one one, and um, and got them on their way. Um, and then I I walked up back to the top of the bridge and talked to our our truck operator and told him kind of what was going on that you know they were shutting it down, um, and then uh, just waited for authorities to get there. Okay. And did members of the Santa Rosa Sheriff's Office eventually show up? Yes, sir. Ouch. And did they inter interview you and Mr. Goins and process that scene as it was theirs? Yes, sir. Um, after we talked on the phone uh, a few weeks ago, uh, did you get an email from me of a Google Earth uh, image of this bridge we've been talking about? Yes, sir. And did you uh, yourself mark a red arrow on that Google image as to where the body was found back on March 17th, 2020. Yes, sir. 